Florida Governor Ron DeSantis hopes tonight helps turn his campaign around. Polls showed him with 25% support when he launched his campaign back in May. His support has since fallen to 14%. WHO 13 Zach Fisher joins us now. And Zach, you were telling me DeSantis supporters had a pretty good crowd on hand to cheer him on tonight. Yeah, Janae, they did. That was out in West Des Moines at the Never Back Down Iowa headquarters. There were several dozen Iowa voters and DeSantis supporters eager to not only watch DeSantis, but other candidates articulate their stances on critical issues. So immigration and border control was the most popular issue that voters there wanted to hear tonight. DeSantis supporters eagerly watching him on. You can see it right there. I talked with two of his supporters asking them their thoughts on what he needs to do to increase his poll numbers and close the gap on the former president. One voter shares her opinion of Trump not being again on the stage tonight. I think, you know, the polls are going to fluctuate between now and November. And I think he's doing what he should be doing, and that's getting out there and just doing what he's doing. But uh, things might change by November. I think he should be up there. I think it seems a little bit arrogant to me that he's not up there. Um, that's just my own opinion. But I, I personally think he should be up there debating with everybody else. So a couple of commonalities that voters shared with me off camera tonight, most of them will be voting for whoever is on the GOP ticket. Now, people, they also wanted to see DeSantis be more assertive, even though the common opinion there was that he did well in the first debate. They also want to see more focus on the future of the country and not the past. So some voters were okay that the former president, Donald Trump, was not on the stage tonight, today. A lot of differing opinions, yeah. but some good insight as well. Thanks, Zach.